Hello everyone, my name is Holden Hardman. Thank you so much for joining us again for another video. Today is the first episode we're coming back with my friend watches with the heavily requested The Amazing Spider-Man Mark Webb films. Hopefully in preparation for Spider-Man No Way Home. We got Jenna. Hello. We got my wonderful fiance Jen, who's never seen this either. Hello. And of course we have my friend Matt. What's going on guys? It's been way too long. I never forgot you. So a little about the movie. This one came out after Spider-Man 3. Came out a few years after, actually. The end of Spider-Man 3 kind of finished off the Raimi trilogy, and the studio decided to just reboot Spider-Man because of the reception of Spider-Man 3. How much do you remember about the original trilogy, by the way? Quite a bit, believe it or not. Uh, those were my those were my favorites, and I mean, probably a little biased to you, but I had seen some of it pieces even before we watched it for My Friend Watches. I liked it. Jen just saw Spider-Man 3, and after watching the Raimi trilogy, do you have any expectations for these next two Amazing Spider-Man movies, Jen? So one thing with the Spider-Man movies, I'm a little nervous that there's so many different people playing the character, and I really liked Tobey Maguire. So this is a completely different person that I'm unaware of, Andrew Garfield, yep. who I've never heard of. So I'm a little worried that it's gonna be a new person thrown into the mix, but I am excited to see it because I did like the Spider-Man character in general. So I'm hoping it's gonna be good, hoping. It also just occurred to me that Jenna did not watch the Raimi trilogy with us when we watched it through the first time. I did not realize that. So this will be your, I guess your first introduction to Spider-Man at all will be the amazing Spider-Man. Well, I watched the MCU Spider-Man movie. Oh, so right. the only Spider-Man that I know is, what's his name? Tom, Tom Holland. Holland. And I have no idea who Andrew Garfield is either, so. Shots fired to Andrew Garfield. <laughs> <laughs> now, Andrew Garfield's a really great actor. I do have some feelings on this movie and its sequel. We'll get into some of that later. Matt, how are you looking for going into this one? Honestly, zero expectations. Didn't even realize this is what we were watching today. Like, I knew we were watching Spider-Man, but I keep learning that there's more people that have done Spider-Man. Uh, so, zero expectation, which I don't think that's a bad thing. Do you like Spider-Man? I do, I do. Doesn't beat Batman, but yeah. There's gonna be a, a, quite a bit to talk about at the end of this one. I have some feelings on it. Uh, also possible correlation to the new Spider-Man movie that's coming out in December. Fingers crossed. But well, let's go ahead and just get into it. The Amazing Spider-Man. Just want to give a big special thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and just get lost in creativity. Skillshare offers thousands of these inspiring classes for creative and curious people. And they range from topics including photography, illustration, design, videography, creative writing, freelance. It's meant for real working creatives and lifelong learners. Classes include a combination of video lessons and a class project. Even my dog thinks you should get Skillshare. Make yourself comfortable whenever you're ready. She's a little upset because not everyone has given it a chance yet. The classes are designed to fit your skill level. So whether you're an absolute beginner, to a pro, to a master, to just a dabbler, they have classes that you can utilize. Members get unlimited access to thousands of these classes with hands-on projects and feedback from a community of millions. Perhaps you're wanting to learn more about how to be a better photographer. Maybe you wanna make YouTube videos. Maybe you wanna get into some type of production or animation. Well, they have classes for you, my guy. I love storytelling and to be a great storyteller Storyteller, you need to be creative, which is why I'm recommending Creative Writing for All, a 10-day journaling challenge by author Emily Gould. You'll be given writing challenges and practical techniques so you can hone your individual creative talent. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, which means there are no ads, and they're constantly always launching new premium classes, so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. The first 1,000 people to use the link in the description below will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare Premium. Supporting the sponsor helps support the channel, so please make sure you go and check them out. How many friggin' Spider-Mans am I supposed to care about? All of them. All of them. <laughs> Andrew Weber, that's the director? Mark Webb. Looks like Holden's prop set up, that broom and hat. <laughs> God, that looks like me a little bit. Insider trading, sucks bro. Oh, Jason Bourne. Much different start. I'm gonna go with you. Be good. Also, I love you. <laughs> Good luck growing up. 
Listen, are, are you busy Friday night? Can you take pictures of my boyfriend's car? Oh. Just, you know, well, that's just a nice thought. <laughs> <laughs> when did this come out? 2012. Okay. Jesus. Gordon, don't eat it, don't eat it. Take the picture, Parker. Gordon, don't eat it. <laughs> oh, call me by my legal name. Someone doesn't know how to express their emotions. Flash, we still on for after school today? No, Flash, how about we go to class? Hmm? How about it? <laughs> Who's that? Chuck? Yeah, what? <laughs> so the cool guy's name is Flash. Hmm. You should probably go to the nurse. You might have a concussion. What's your name? You don't know my name? No, I know your name. I just want to know if you know your name. Very nice. Peter, remember when we were stupid and dangerous? No. Trust me, we were. <laughs> Good to know. How's the other guy look? Ah, uh, the times that we slapped raw meat on a face and also mm -hmm. let the children fight their own battles. <laughs> I forgot all about that thing. It was your dad. He asked us to keep it safe for him. Your father was a very secretive man, Peter. <laughs> yeah, I know. I need you to be a good boy, Peter. Zero, zero, decay rate, algorithm. Zero, zero, decay rate, algorithm. Does anyone use Bing? No. Why is it even a, why is it even an option? Are you having trouble finding yourself? No. Yeah, I got it. Gracias. De nada. I can verify that. Security's pretty lax there, I, I, was, I was gonna say, can we just check a license, guys? Parkinson's patient. He's a bad guy. Just call him that now. Oh yeah, no arm for sure. Yes. His Promise. teacher? Mm -hmm. and, and Spider-Man? Yeah. He said it was class. Oh. Second. Yeah. It's strange to see a baseline of confidence in this Peter to start. Mm -hmm. I work here. I don't work here. I was gonna say, I, I was gonna say I work here, but- They have really good chemistry. Yeah, very good chemistry. They actually got together in real life. Really? Yeah. I can see why. <laughs> the security is dope at this I place. <laughs> Pulling out the wrong people and not even checking the wrong people. Why oh, they gotta be extra with those things? Oh my God, it's like using a Samsung phone. What, are we at Amazon? Yeah, Jeff Bezos is a green goblin in this. <laughs> Where are the pissed off workers? How the hell do you get in here? Ugh. Give me badge. This girl isn't getting paid enough. Probably not getting paid at all. Oh yeah, she's an intern, that's right. <clears throat> get your hand off her. I'm trying to get my hand. Rudy. <laughs> Sorry. What? First time trying weed, I guess. <laughs> I'm Richard Parker's son. Where they were going with good reflexes. Thank you. Extraordinary. How did you come up with this? <laughs> God. <laughs> Can we just skip to the scene where he gets punched? Oh, it's probably coming. Go ahead. Take it. <laughs> so all this is about getting even. She looks familiar. Yeah, she's everywhere. She's the girl on your computer. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, you want to, uh, I don't know. Want to what? I don't know. Where the hell is he right now? An abandoned shipyard or something. What a weird scene. Picture of that in my dad's office. Load it with an antigen, it creates a cloud which can be dispersed over a neighborhood, even an entire city. And what if the device were loaded with a toxin? What if you wanted to opt out? Foreshadowing. She is a computer model. They can regenerate entire limbs at will. You need to take that. Regeneration successful. 
Not the one with two hands to do this part. So we have minority report screens where we're going to hand hold and jab a needle in this thing. We don't have any sort of... Okay, got it. Did you forget something? Now, don't answer that. You owe your aunt an apology. He believed that if you could do good things for other people, you had a moral obligation to do those things. Not choice, responsibility. That's great. It was his responsibility to be here to tell me this himself? Oh, come on, I dare you. How dare I? How dare you? Come back here, please. Now you're expelled. But Daddy didn't give you enough milk money today? It's two cents. We're talking about two cents. Just step aside, kid. Awareness level 1,000. Hey, kid, a little help? Not my policy. He has a star tattooed on his left hand. I know things have been difficult lately, and I'm sorry about that. Not today, Flash. Hey, come on, man. I just want to talk. It feels better, right? Ooh, here we go. Your uncle died. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Good job, Flash. You like beating on girls? Like beating on old men? Parkour. John Wick. He was kicking the crap out of all of them. Why is he running? <laughs> Jesus. Bonesaw is weird. Obviously a reference to him being a wrestler in the comics. Ah, okay. First nice. I like that homage. Luchador. Mucha lucha. All of my life. He's fantastic. <laughs> You go into the no at home release. A single pellet can safely store several hundred meters of a lightweight cable. Oh, God. Wait, he's making his own web out of an Apple Watch? It's actually just a regular watch, but yeah. Just checking. That was cool. <clears throat> you know, in the future, if you're gonna steal cars, don't dress like a car thief, man. Cross! <laughs> My way to this in small knives. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> man! No, no. Come on, let me go! Oof. This could have gotten a lot worse. He's gonna shoot. With yeah, right. Animal. Exactly. I was eight weeks from retirement. They're always eight weeks. <laughs> You don't have to wait up for me, you know. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Did you get the eggs? Nope, forgot the eggs. Where do you go? Who does this to you? Secrets have a cost. They're not for free. Not now, not ever. I have to start human trials. And now I won't. Oh, then he's going to die. People die, even Norman Osborn. The clock is ticking, Dr. Connors. What happened to your eye? What? The, your eye? It's oh, bruised. Oh, yeah, no, I don't know. I got, I got a rash. My mom's making bread, do you know? Oh, it's apartment 2016. I didn't, I didn't write that part down. I don't know why I did. 2016. It's actually a legit therapy, what he just did. That's like an actual therapy. Like mirrors are used for am new amputees. Have you seen that? No? My bad, I was running my mouth. He injected himself with something. Yeah, <laughs> yes. so, Got as it. soon as he injected it, it made a noise. And then... Got it. Hi. <laughs> Your doorman is intimidating. <laughs> Climb all the stairs I need to get in here. Oh, lo lovely. Yeah, they're beautiful, right? They're beautiful. They were, they were nice. You have your suit in there? It's for dinner. Are you gonna, are you gonna wear that? You must be Peter. Yeah. Nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. I feel like Branzino. Who doesn't? Yep. Careful what you wish for. 
Spider guy yet? No, we didn't catch him yet. If I wanted the car thief off the street, he'd already be off the street. So why wasn't he then? Thanks for inviting me over. <laughs> I know. Gwen, this was extremely <laughs> stressful for everyone. <laughs> yeah. So thank you. Up your what, Dad? I think he's definitely. <laughs> that was something. <laughs> I've been bitten. So fine. You insulted my father in there. Just really got me going. <laughs> I, I wish I could just. Father, now you're insulting me. <laughs> Come over here. Yeah, the parents are really lax about what's going on upstairs. She's like, you want me to shut the door? Or? Mom and mean girls, she's like, y'all need any condoms? I made trouble. Normal guy. Stay very still. Got a bunch of cars to go, Peter. Hurry up. Uh oh, gas gun. I can't! Yes, you can! Put it on! The mask! It's gonna make you strong! There you go! That's it! Do me a favor, a little faster, okay, bud? Oh. God! <laughs> I'm really putting a lot of effort into this kid. Who are you? Spider Man. Jenna said, how did he get a blanket? <laughs> <laughs> so beautiful. Knows how to bite, though. Who else knows about this? Just show <laughs> But the maintenance guys hate him. What's this, an EpiPen? It's not nice to snoop. How would a predator track a reptile? No, they don't. Doc, you all right? Never been better, Peter. Never been better. Right. Dr. Connors gave Gwen a glowing college recommendation. When I read it, I cried. But you would have me. <laughs> he has transformed himself into a giant lizard. Please listen to me. Meanwhile, back in the Pensacola water system. <laughs> Bail, bail. You won't stop me again. Wait. I think he had his name on that camera. Yep. Pulled a Casey Neistat on it. Wow. What happened? You should see the other guy. I have cramps. Oh. Like I feel kind of pukey and just... For as long as I can remember, my father has left every morning and he's put a badge on his chest. And every day for as long as I can remember, I haven't known if he was going to make it home. Take your time. Take your time. I gotta stop him, though. I can save them! <laughs> You're not going to get out of my It's very goblin-esque. Always love seeing him. Very surprised. 
blanket. Where are you? I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm down the sewer. And flush. He just learned that his plan is to take that device and turn everyone into lizards. Hmm. Didn't see that coming. The end. <laughs> ah, the regeneration. You have to get out of there right now. <laughs> it's on the way. You're gonna wait there for eight minutes after what I just told you. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna shoot his unarmed. Yeah, right? We got him, guys. Killed six civilians in that, but we got him. Oh boy. Should have locked that fire escape. You gotta let me go. I saved my boy on the bridge. You still friends with Matthews, that crane operator down to 6th Avenue? Yeah. Swing your J-bombs over the avenue. Boom angles at 90 degrees. That's pretty cool. Boyfriend is a man, many masks. I get it. Give me this. Get in the car. Initializing Ganali device. You have five rounds. What's happening? I was reloading there. Wow, good call. It's gonna be all right. Where have you been? My father died. It was a funeral. Two of my teachers showed up. Everyone was there but you. I can't see you anymore. He made you promise, didn't he? So I'd be safe. How the hell did you figure that out? Knows the character of her dad. Yeah. What a pretty girl. That's what Uncle Ben said. I'm just no good for her. If there's one thing you are, it's good. I know things have been difficult lately. Come on, Uncle Ben, you can do it. I think I know what you're feeling. Deliver the line. You've been living with so many unresolved things. Take it from an old man. Those things send us down the road. They make us who we are. If anyone's destined for greatness, it's you, son. 
You owe the world your gifts. You just have to figure out how to use them. But wherever they take you, we'll always be here. So come on home, Peter. <laughs> oh, good lord, are you serious? Dude's crazy. I'm an ultimate fanboy. Tardy again. Don't make promises you can't keep, Mr. Parker. I mean, those are the best kind. Let's begin on page one. All right, there you go. Good job. Going against Dad's wishes. His dying wish. <laughs> Screw Captain. Not today. gonna do it, Dad. I'm still gonna bone your dog. <laughs> So that was The Amazing Spider-Man with Andrew Garfield. A little bit of a different feel. Another origin story for Spider-Man, especially under an under 10 years from the first Spider-Man movie. So a lot of people, myself included, felt that, that was a little bit too quick to just retell the beginning. We got to see Uncle Ben die again. We got to see the arrogance of him being like, it's not my policy, I'm not gonna help out type of thing. So was it too soon? Was it too familiar? Was it not familiar enough? We didn't get the famous, uh, with great power comes great responsibility line. He created his own web shooters in this movie, which is what he did in the comics. So some people were like, oh, it's so much closer to the comic adaptation now. And eh, no. I will say, I've been holding this comment out for a while, that I, I don't know everyone's feelings on this. I hated the suit. I absolutely hated it. First time I ever saw it, I, uh, I thought it was awful. I thought it was ugly looking and uh, I did, was not very impressed by it. The suit? I mean, it could have been better. It was fine. It's Spider-Man. He looked like Spider-Man. I think that they absolutely nailed it with the Raimi Spider-Man movie, Spider-Man 2, Spider-Man 3 specifically. Oh, we they, know, we know. <laughs> they get, Well, they got a lot of that feedback about the suit. And so in The Amazing Spider-Man 2, they changed it. And I actually think that's either equal to, possibly greater than the original Spider-Man suit. So they took that criticism into account. Their reasoning for it looking like this is that they wanted to make it look like you know, if a person, if a kid were to make his own suit, how would he do it? It would probably look a little more shoddy, I guess. Um, so that was the re that was one of the reasons behind it. The chemistry between Peter and Gwen Stacy is really, really good. Easily a highlight uh, of the movie. There's a bit about Peter's attitude that's a lot different in this. He's much more of kind of this cool, kind of a hipster high school kid, whereas traditionally he's much more of like a nerdy shy kind of outcast whereas this he's kind of got some confidence struggles with the confidence when it comes to gwen but overall he's like telling flash to put the kid down he's breaking into oscorp getting the badge so uh jenna this is your first indie non-mcu spider-man movie what did you think about it? i thought the female character's name was supposed to be mary jane so spider-man has two love interests well he actually has quite a few my dog mostly it's mary jane and gwen stacy i thought uh, you were literally saying he has a love interest with your dog the way you said that go ahead no originally his first love interest was gwen stacy who in the comics later dies and that's when peter's whole the ones i love will always be the ones who suffer that's why he's like i can't i can't have any meaningful relationship he meets mary jane later and that's why he's like, no, I want to, but I can't. So they decided to go this route to begin with Gwen Stacy and kind of go from there. So some of the origin story at the beginning seemed a little improbable, like how we broke into the lab and just happened to get into this like inner core of the Oscorp. Why is it so close? Oh, sorry. And then just randomly got bit by the spider. Like, I don't, that doesn't seem really probable. I finally got very emotionally invested when all the crane operators you know, cooperated to help him get to the main building at the end. That was like my, like solidified my emotional investment in the movie. Why are the bad guys always in a sewer? Like there's always a lair in a sewer that seems kind of typical. Cause it's it? under, underground, hidden. I mean, it makes sense, but yes, I get what you're saying. It is stereotypical. And then my other question is, if he couldn't buy the milk for $2, how did he get the stuff for the suit? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I just just some like practicality questions that don't have to be answered i was curious they never explained what happened to his dad but then in the end credits that seems like they're setting the stage for maybe that question to be answered in the next one and then they didn't really explain how he got the webs how we 
got them, how he gets more of them. Home Depot. I liked it overall. I thought their chemistry was great. I think the Dr. Collins played a great villain. Uh, what is it? Connors. Connors, whatever. Clearly I was invested. I thought it was a good movie overall. That was another thing I forgot to touch on. They focused so heavily on Peter Parker's parents. Peter Parker's parents, wow. Which was not touched on at all in the past or really in the comics. I know a little bit. I know you're like, they're a shield and I, I know. Um, but for the most part, it's really been irrelevant. Um, so that's another thing that they wanted to change. They wanted to focus on the parents and what's going on with that. Jen, after watching the three Raimi movies and then watching this one and the MCU Spider-Man stuff, overall, how did you feel about this one? I thought it was pretty good. It was definitely uh, different to see them touch on his parents because as Holden said, I haven't gotten anything about that at this point and I've always been curious about it. So. I, obviously they didn't fill in all the blanks when it came to that, but it was good for just to visualize that. I also like the chemistry between uh, Peter Parker and Gwen. And I was also curious about the MJ, so good to fill that in as well. I did not like the lizard character. For whatever reason, it just did not do it for me. I thought the actor that played him was very, very good. Just didn't care for the lizard character. Comparing this actor to Tobey Maguire and Tom Holland, it's difficult for me because I think that this version of Peter Parker is more along the lines of what I imagine him to be if it were real life. This version is what you think? Yeah, really? for Peter Parker. Okay. But as far as the Spider-Man, I, don't. Whenever he was wearing this suit, it just, I preferred Tobey Maguire, honestly. It just felt more right. So, right, <laughs> but um, I think that, uh, is it Andrew Garfield? Yeah. He did a really great job at playing Peter Parker. I also think that there were certain scenes that carried a lot heavier in this movie. For instance, um, the uncle dying in certain scenes with him and Aunt May just had a, a, a heavier tone to them than the other movies. So I thought it was good overall. I kind of prefer Gwen to Mary Jane. That That's probably gonna be a very unpopular opinion, but I uh, I very much like Gwen's character. So it was, a, it was a decent movie as far as whether I prefer the other Spider-Man movies, I, I think the Tobey Maguire movies are just a smidge better than so far from what I've seen. So it was good though. I would say that uh, Gwen Stacy in this, I think they gave her a lot more charisma, I think, than maybe Kirsten Dunst had in the Raimi movies where she was very much the popular girl that the nerdy guy had a crush on and then they kind of went from there. Whereas this one, there's this playful banter that's really enjoyable to see. Something I really didn't like was Peter's motivation initially for becoming Spider-Man, for making the suit and everything, was all about revenge. He wanted to find the guy that killed Uncle Ben. He was revenge focused. And then at one point, finally on the bridge, when he's when he saves the kid, he's like, okay, I'm, I'm Spider-Man. But for a good half of him being Spider-Man, he was not motivated by doing the right thing or like he should have been. So that was something I wish he would have been, you know, the entire time would have been more noble. Something else at the very end when Dr. Connors reverts back yeah, after he's the lizard, he saves Peter. They don't really go into any explanation why he had this change of heart. I guess they're implying that since the lizard part is gone, he's fully Dr. Connors again, but he had reverted before and still had the motivation to, to be evil and everything. So why did he really change other than he just got kicked off, you know, or beaten by Spider-Man. And then all of a sudden he's, you know, leave the kid alone, you know. I didn't I didn't understand why there was such a 180 degree conversion there. One more question that I had is, why did the antidote not affect Spider-Man? Because he wasn't, not he wasn't hit with the reptilian. It, but he was, it seemed like there would be some sort of. Interaction? Yeah. I think it was because the antidote was specifically geared towards reptile DNA. I will say that the way they handled Vulture in the MCU Spider-Man and Homecoming, where he's like, he realizes that's Peter, I don't want Peter to get hurt, I think made a lot more sense than in this one. So that's some praise I'll give to that one um, because there was like a personal investment there. So Matt, I saw you taking some notes. What did you think? All right, so this was not awful. Uh, it, was, it was okay overall. I feel like they did not highlight major moments for the character. Now, in speaking to that, like, I want to respect that this is a new version of Spider-Man, but if this is truly Spider-Man, aren't there some 
things that you have to stick to that make Spider-Man Spider-Man. I don't All know, right. maybe I'm wrong there, but I, I, like they highlighted the spider bite like this much. Like, it, I mean, he was even confused about what had happened. He was like, oh, I got bit by a spider like two days later. I just, I thought it was really weird how they highlighted it so minimally. Side notes, I hold on to little things, but I'm not saying this is what tears the movie down, but I just feel like when you, when you introduce things like what I'm about to say, you break up the concentration. On the subway, homeboy puts a beer on Peter's head and that's the only way they could figure out how to get a drop of water to show that his senses have increased. That was so weird. Like it was just such a, anyway. That's right. Just so weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so Uncle Ben, Uncle Ben's death was so fruitless. He didn't see the crime that that dude actually committed. He, he, all he sees is this dude running towards him and he knocks over two women, the gun falls out and then Uncle Ben lunges at the gun for no reason. It makes no sense. He didn't have the gun on somebody. Uncle Ben never saw any of that. It just didn't make any sense. And then there was no struggle of death when usually everybody's like, Peter, I'm gonna make it. Just get me to the hospital. There was no talking, he was just dead. I, there was just so much missed opportunity, I feel like. There were weird times where there was comedy injected that just didn't feel like it fit. There was a few times where it felt like almost Deadpool comedy. Whenever he's up on the roof and Homeboy's trying to steal the car and then he he, he webs him to the wall, like he, he tackles him and he's like, crotch! Like, I, I don't know, it just didn't feel like that character. Acting was fantastic. I, I can't say that anybody had any poor acting. Everybody did great. You're right about the chemistry between he and she, but, um, it just, this just felt like a poorly written piece. Like they just could have fit some things better together. That, like the part where he was like, uh, who are you? And he was like, Spider-Man, I guess. Like it was just so <laughs> lackluster. He could have like, they could have just simply shifted the angle of the camera, a little bit of music just to pump it up and he could have said the same line and it would have felt different. Why was Peter and Homegirl able to sneak in everywhere at all times? He's in the middle of, of the cops like the heart of their station just out of nowhere. And, and just, I don't know, I, th I thought that was kind of weird. Again, that doesn't break the film, but it's kind of comical really. I did like the dilemma, this was different. I did like the dilemma that she had of getting involved with Spider-Man because I saw my dad every single day go to work. He puts a badge on, Peter's badge, Superman, Spider-Man. Um, and then, you know, wearing the gun, that to me made a lot of sense and I appreciated that. Great job there. Terrible line, someone's been a bad lizard. That was so Deadpool and just, again, ill-placed. The villain actually, I think he, he, was, he was okay. It felt like he was mainly a good guy getting pulled towards being a bad guy. At least that was different, I guess. It didn't fall into the line of what is always like, I'm taking over the world. So it was different at least, but I agree, Jen, it wasn't, wasn't fantastic. Love that Spider-Man actually got shot. That was cool, because you never see that, you know, like he, there's finally something that is stopping him a little bit. And then it made sense. That's where the city comes in. I agree, Jenna, like, you know, the cops stopping traffic and all that. Little side note though, did he really need the cranes? I understand it was symbolic, but I guess it made it more convenient. But I mean, come on, he's been webbing the city for a long time and we've always wondered what the hell's really above you. Anyway, um, but I did like that, I really did. Poor Uncle Ben, he was so close to delivering a bygone gym moment, uh, just a moment and a line of substance, but there really wasn't any bygone gym moments in this. I know I, I spoke mainly negatively about this film, but I think it was still a fair film. It wasn't terrible. I agree. I've really softened up to the movie over time. Mm -hmm. I remember initially feeling like after like uh, Spider-Man 1, Spider-Man 2, which to this day I still think is one of the best. Spider-Man 3, which everyone sort of had similar criticisms about. And then given this movie where I felt like we kind of just went down overall in quality. Not bad, but just not at the level I was uh, used to with Spider-Man. The whole uh, great power comes great responsibility. I feel like every Spider-Man iteration, it gets watered down yeah. more and more. This, it was still good, because he basically had the heart of it. If you have the ability, the power to do the right thing, you have an obligation to do it. It is your responsibility. And then in like the MCU where he's like, when you can't do good things, but you don't, then bad things happen. You know? In 20 years, this is gonna be that. You gotta be a good person. Yeah, gotta be good. <laughs> I would love to know everyone's rating on this one. Jenna, I'll start with you. What would you rate this one? I thought it was pretty good. I mean, I don't have the Raimi Spider-Man movies to compare it to. I liked him just as well as I like Tom Holland um, playing Spider-Man, so I'd give it a seven. I'd go, I'll go a seven too. Um, I think seven is a solid 
solid level for this movie. Matt, what about you? Again, the, the acting was great. There were still good pieces about this movie. Like, it was visually very pleasing. I, their chemistry was fantastic. I'd give it a six, and that's at best. Wow. And Jen, what about you? What would you rate this one? I originally was gonna give it a six, but I think I'm gonna give it a 6.5. A lot of that is due to Garfield's performance and the, the chemistry. So I'm, I'm gonna go with a 6.5. Way to one up at Jen. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you enjoyed this video, leave it a like. It helps the channel out a lot. Comment down below letting us know what you thought of the amazing Spider-Man, some of our thoughts on it. Are we out of base? And is this the best Spider-Man movie that's been made to date? Let us know down below. Make sure to check out Matt's channel. I'll have a link down in the description below. Consider subscribing if you want to see more fun content like this. We will be doing the amazing Spider-Man 2, which uh, has a couple more twists and turns and perhaps a couple of repeated mistakes that we have not yet learned from in the past. Dun, dun, dun. Or maybe not, maybe it's the best Spider-Man movie ever. Consider joining my Patreon to get early access to select videos like this one. As always, we appreciate you watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Take care.